Perfect. Well, hey, traders, investors, welcome to today's uh, presentation, and, and thanks so much for having us as part of this event. Always fun to be part of these, and, and they're really, really well done, so thank you for that. Um, so what we're going to be discussing today is financial freedom. Of course, it's probably a uh, pretty, pretty popular topic <clears throat> excuse me, in these events, but we're going um, to be talking about crypto. Now, how many of you are involved in the crypto space? Uh, to some degree, whether it be you're you're actively in, investing in crypto, you're trading. Um, oops, how many of you are actively in the space currently? Just give me a quick yes in the chat box, and uh, just get a feel for. Okay, we've got Frank. Anybody else? Who else? Anybody involved in crypto? How many of you are brand new to crypto? It's still kind of a foreign concept to you. Um, you know, really not even dipped your toe yet. Can you give me a, a N for new? Are you new to crypto? How many of you are brand new to it? I'll just get a little bit of participation from everybody here so we know everybody's uh, awake and, and ready to crush the day. Good, Ricky's made some money last year and a lot of newbies here too, so perfect. Well. Thanks so much for being a part of this. And I'm gonna encourage you, if you are new, or even if you've been around the space, uh, pay attention to this because there's gonna be a lot of good info on uh, kind of scratching the surface on how this stuff all works. And so, yeah, and a lot of people don't trust those markets. And that is completely fair because it's still very new, right? So we're gonna dive in here. Before we go into any of the content here, we do have our disclaimer. We don't have any interest in the outcome of your trades or investments. We're here for products and services for educational purposes, and there is risk involved. Now, in this event, we are going to be going over real live portfolios, and we're going to be looking at performance. And so we do need to cover this disclaimer, obviously very, very important. Okay, so good. A lot of, lot of newbies to the industry, so great. Good stuff. So why crypto? We're going to discuss why crypto. What's the end goal? And then what's the problem that we face? A trifecta model that we have real estate versus DeFi, anybody actively involved in real estate, uh, investment conclusions, hard truths, rug pulls and risks. And then we'll discuss our alpha team live portfolios as we talked about, these are real portfolios we're gonna be looking at. And then pricing in Q&A. So why cryptocurrency? Well, first off, it's changing the world as we know it. And it's, it's pretty easy to see that things are changing around you. More and more you start to see new things coming out that are kind of adapting to the crypto world. You know, you've even got crypto visas now and it, it's changing okay? the landscape is changing around us. Like it or not, it is what it is. It's changing. Banking is changing. Payment processing, investing, tech, art, music, real estate, regulations. They're all changing. If you don't adapt, you will be left behind. And that's just a proven fact. Things are changing. They're moving in that direction. And so uh, certainly, uh, there's, there's some component to, to be able to jump on here. Um, it empowers everyday people to be the house. So what does that mean? Well, we all hear the casino always wins, right? And that would be the case in the case of the banks. You know, when you're investing your money in the bank, they give you a measly interest rate, and then they go lend it out with leverage. And they make way more than you could ever imagine to make on your money by lending it out. So now you get to be the banker. You can ditch the middleman. It enables you to make unprecedented returns not available anywhere else in traditional finance. Seven to twelve percent monthly, two to three percent weekly, one percent daily. Some of you are looking at these numbers going, <laughs> what are we talking about here? Ponzi schemes? Like, like really, what are we talking about here with interest rates like that, right? So if you've got a pile of money that you're sitting on, hundreds of millions, you can be actively involved in some of the, the largest hedge funds in the world. And you might see returns like this, or you might be a really savvy investor, you might see returns like this. But usually, you have to have some kind of advantage. You have to know somebody, right place, right time, sitting on a pile of cash, family money, whatever the case. This is the opportunity where everyday people like you and I can make these kind of returns. We don't have to be sitting on millions and millions and millions of dollars in capital in order to do that. And we're going to show you that. OK, 
Okay. And it's not just about buy and hold and buying the next Bitcoin. No, that's not what this is about. And it's making more millionaires than any other financial vehicle to date. Okay, so this is the crypto landscape that we are in. When we talk about the end goal, stop talking money, talk systems. Maybe not the right, uh, maybe not the right opportunity for you. You know, and that's totally fair. Look, no hard feelings. We are going to talk about money, and we make no apologies for that because the fact is, no matter who you are, what you do, where you live, how old you are, where you're from, we all want the same thing: financial freedom and independence. Now, if that's not you, that's totally fine. You can, you can go about your day and no hard, no hard feelings, right? But those of us who are here are interested in this. And I think I speak for all of us when that's true, okay? So the freedom to make decisions based on what makes you happy instead of what makes you money. That is financial freedom and independence. Now, you say money doesn't buy you happiness. Well, sure, I agree. Money gives you freedom of choice. Money makes life easier for you. Having the freedom to choose is what brings happiness and eliminates fear. Okay, so let's do, let's do some calculators together. We're just going to do a quick calculation. I just want to show you the power of what we're talking about here. Now, if somebody from the audience would like to get involved here, that is great. And uh, we'll, we'll do a quick exercise. Anybody here want to be a part of uh, this quick calculator? And, you know, it's totally fine. There's, there's usually at least one person that wants to get involved in this and take a look at some, some numbers. Anybody want to go through an exercise here real quick with us? Okay, Dylan. All right, go for it. All right, let's go with Dylan. Dylan, it's all you. Okay, so Dylan, if you were to invest, uh, you just choose any amount. Uh, or here, let's even better. Let's do replace your current income with passive income solutions. Okay, so what would be monthly expenses if you knew you have X amount of dollars coming in, you never have to work again? What's that number for you monthly? What would be the monthly number? If you never had to work again, how much do you need for monthly living expenses? No. No, not on the mic, just in the chat box. Got a number, SP, do you want to jump in? Okay, do you want to be okay with 10K? All right, so we'll put 10,000. That would be enough to, to cover all the expenses. What would be the initial investment? Any amount is fine. What would be the initial investment that you know you could potentially put together? Any dollar amount. Twenty K. All right. So twenty thousand. And if you were to put money in monthly, would you want to put money monthly in or would you want to just leave it with twenty? Actually, let's just leave that at zero, okay? And we're gonna leave the projected yield at 2.5% per week. Now you said 2.5% is very, very high. And it's what we are achieving in these active investments regularly every week, okay? Uh, how much of your interest would you reinvest? Would you reinvest all of it? Or would you take out some, would you take some of the dividends, if you will, off the table? So some of your earnings each month, are you gonna roll all those back into the account or are you gonna take some each month? What might that percentage be? Okay, so 75% is gonna be reinvested. And then what do you think your tax rate is? You pay 15%, 20%, 25%, how much do you pay in taxes? Rough estimate. Okay, we'll just leave it at 20%, okay? So 20% is a pretty, pretty conservative number. So this is saying that based on a conservative 2.5% per week, based on, we'll show you the results, 
two and a half percent per week, you could be financially free in 23 months. So this means that your financial freedom would take you 23 months of just putting 20,000 in there, leaving it there, and even still taking 25% off the table each, uh, each month or each week for that matter. Pretty decent amount of time. Dylan, would you be okay with retiring at 22? I think we all know the question to that answer. We say, we all wish we were, we were Dylan. We all wish we could retire at 22. And yes, yes. The hardest part is finding a system that works. Absolutely. 100%, I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. So, all right. So let's move on. Thank you. Everybody say thanks to Dylan for, for being a part of that. Really appreciate it. That's, that's awesome. Okay. So the big problem, everyone believes what they believe based on what they've been exposed to. And we've all been exposed to the same things over and over and over. Right, the 401ks, the IRAs, the 403Bs, depending on where you live, right? So here are some examples of the, the, the things that we hear. You must invest in real estate. It's the best and fastest, safest investment. There's nothing wrong with real estate, but it's not the only answer. You have to put your money into traditional investments. Bankers tell it's the best way to financial freedom. Leave it in the S&P. Just always leave it. Leave it in the market. Doesn't matter what's happening. Leave it in, leave it in, leave it in. It's not the only way. You need to work hard to get ahead because in order to be wealthy, you either ha have to have an advantage or you have to get lucky. We talked about that a little bit ago. Either you're sitting on a pile of cash, you've got a, some kind of trust fund, or you have a massive advantage or you're just right place, right time. You know, you, you bought the winning lotto ticket stock. You know, you bought Bitcoin in 2008, 2010, whatever it may be right? Bought, bought Bitcoin when it was a hundred bucks. Okay. Got lucky, right place, right time. Nobody knew back then that the price was going to go to 20,000 and up. Nobody knew that at the time. Somebody told me about Bitcoin back then, by the way, had they not come to me like a raving lunatic, I probably would have bought some, but they said, it's, it's the next thing. And oh my gosh, it's going to be huge. And you got to do this. And it's going to replace currency as we know it. And this was back in 2008. I thought the guy was nuts, honestly. But here we are. Can't retire early. Got to, oh, sorry. Yeah, by the way, I, I thought I had a slide with my intro. My name is Jim Simmons. Yeah, thank you for asking. I totally forgot to, uh, to do that. I've been in the markets for about 14 years. And um, anyway. Mostly a futures trader and now into this space as well. Right. So you can't retire early. Got to work to your 60 like everyone else. Well, Dylan just proved us wrong there. Right. So the big problem, these are the beliefs that everyone has conformed to for generations. If these mainstream beliefs are true, then why are there more young millionaires, financially free investors than ever before? You're seeing all these kids driving around the streets in Lamborghinis, and it's kind of the new thing. right? So limiting factors that are holding you back. Well, there's lack of information. It's new. The world's just catching on. Maybe there's some misguidance there. But we all hear the horror stories, right? We don't hear the good stories. Either we hear about some kid who just bought his Lamborghini. We have no idea how he did it. Or we're hearing about all the, all the, uh, the negative stories, right? How, how it's bad and, and how you don't want to do it. And, and don't get me wrong. There's definitely risk involved here. But it's not, we're not seeing the bigger picture with that. Negligence. People don't believe what they haven't seen before. If you haven't seen it, how on earth are you possibly going to believe it? And that is very fair. That's fair in anything. You would totally expect that. Okay, so people, people don't believe what they haven't seen before. Reluctance to change. People stay in their comfort zone. Because with crypto, we may see 3% a week and we go, oh man, that, that's awesome. But we're comfortable with the returns that we're getting and whatever financial vehicles that we're currently involved in. And so we're more reluctant to change that. We're prone to stay in our consistent spot and keep doing what we've always done because we know what the result is. And with something new, we don't always know what that result's gonna be. And then there's belief systems. People accept the struggle as the norm. And we've seen this in, in generational situations as well, where 
some of us may have grown up in different situations, blue collar, white collar, or even just, you know, not having as much as the next, right? And so you get these, you get sort of used to that way of life, or you get used to struggling because it's all you've ever known. And next thing you know, you turn into one of those folks, and no offense to anyone, but you get into a position where, oh man, things are so tough. Ah, oh, just, how you doing? Oh, I'm living the dream. Just doing the nine to five, just grinding it out. Going to work another day, another dollar. Don't be one of those people. Life has so much available to us that if we just shift our mindset and focus on doing something different, maybe life could change, right? And this can all end now. So what Crypto Street has developed is a trifecta model. So there's three approaches here or three sort of courses that we've developed. The first is trading alpha. And this is going to give you everything, or getting started rather. This is gonna tell you everything you need to know about the industry, all the terminology, how does it work? What are the ins and outs? And then there's trading. Well, some of you might be active traders and wanna to continue to trade. And so maybe you trade the markets, maybe you trade the coins, and that's an opportunity to generate some income for you. And you can do swing trading. and with that, there's also going to be alerts, trade alerts on where to get in and when and how and why and how much and then where to get in and out, right? And then there's DeFi. How many of you are familiar with DeFi, decentralized finance? We're going to cover that a little bit here. And this is going to be the, all the ins and outs of how to generate passive income in crypto. Now, again, we're not talking about buying and holding crypto. That's not what this is about. So let's say, let's compare investments here. How many of you are involved in the real estate market, whether in a, in a REIT, real estate investment trust, or maybe you've got some rental properties, or maybe you're looking to get into it. How many of you are involved in real estate? Any, any rehabbers? Anybody do the fix and flip? Fix, flip, and sell? Anybody buying and selling um, contracts in real estate? Anything like that? No, nobody? Okay, that's okay. But we do have some real estate investors here. Look, nothing wrong with being a real estate investor, but we're just going to, uh, we're going to play devil's advocate here for a minute, okay? So we're going to compare real estate to crypto, and the idea is to demonstrate the power of DeFi, okay? Danny's made big money in real estate, and there is money to be made in real estate, make no mistake, absolutely. We're going to look at traditional use of capital and standard investments at first, like real estate versus DeFi and how they stack up against each other, okay? Factors of important, importance, speed of growth, use of capital, access to compounding, so on. Okay, so here we go. Let's say you go to purchase a real, you're going to purchase a condo. Okay, well, it could be a single family, doesn't matter. But you go to purchase a rental, and you're going to rent this house out, and, and so you need 20% down, and uh, the cost is 250, so you need to have 50,000 down. Good, good savings amount there. And then let's say you need to do some, you know, minor rehabs, you had flooring and paint and maybe update some things, fixtures and so on. Okay, so you put 10,000 into it and you figure this is a good initial investment, 60,000. Okay. And let's say rental 2,200 a month, a decent, decent amount for that, uh, for that type of home. But then you got to pay taxes, insurance, homeowners association, and vacancy. Anybody involved in the real estate business knows how that works. So that's a thousand a month. So monthly revenue, 1200. But we haven't talked about the mortgage payment yet. A mortgage payment on 200,000 based on a 6% interest rate is 1199 a month. So now we're net zero. Okay, so we're, what we're putting into it each month is coming back to us each month, okay? So it's not a problem because you're gaining equity. Your tenants are paying your mortgage, so that's covered. So it's, it's a wash and you're gaining money in equity, right? Well, here's the alternative solution. So crypto yield in low to medium risk projects, low to medium risk, the investment. And let's say, okay, some of you are here going, I don't, I don't have 60,000. I have 10, I have 10,000 that I could invest 
I don't have 60. Well, that's fine. Let's look at 10,000. So 10,000 on a yield with a monthly interest rate, 8%. Now, again, this is low to medium risk based on the projects that we're involved in. 10,000 at 8%, $800 a month. And we have projects that are paying more, but we're just going with the lowest risk that we're involved in. The cost of being involved is nothing. There's no cost. Okay? So no monthly cost. So you're going to reinvest 8% every month because, you know, apples to apples as best you can. You don't take the money out of the condo that you bought until you sell the thing. So the net result is 25181 Total interest earned 15181 that's a net annual yield of 151% per year. Pretty good. There's the calculations. Those are the projections. Okay. Pretty good. Smart money. So you can see that right out of the gate, you're already making more monthly income with only $10,000 versus owning a $250,000 condo. So the real estate investor needed $60,000 down to flush zero with net, no net monthly ROI. The crypto investor is netting $800 a month and compounding to get to 151 in annual yield. So 75% less money down, bigger returns, less headaches, more freedom, and less time. Okay. Based on the past 12 months, yeah, it's actually, uh, it's been averaging about seven to 12% per month. Yeah, and we'll show you, yeah, we'll show you those numbers for sure. We've got them for you, no worries. So flip the script. So let's say the real estate investor now changed his mind. He had put the 60,000 in. What could he do? Well, the initial investment, 60. Interest rate of eight, it's $4,800 a month. That is a massive difference. We have, again, other projects that are paying more. The cost, nothing. Again, 151%. So the total interest earned in a year is $90,090. Now look, real estate's hot. Markets are high. There's been a lot of demand for real estate. A lot of gains earned over the last year. It's been a great investment. Don't get me wrong. But you're not getting 150% out of real estate, no matter where you're at. There's no markets that are doing that much. Now, I'm in Arizona, so believe me, I understand about inflated markets right now we're getting hit pretty hard on it's good if you own a home very good if you own multiple but you get the idea so ninety thousand. you can clearly see that the real estate investor if they were to move it into crypto could have gotten to the financial goals a lot quicker plus there's no headaches there's no tenants there's no management companies there's no listing the home there's no tenants that trash the place there's no dog that goes nuts and chews the place apart. You don't have to deal with any of that. So what's next? Risks, too good to be true. Is it hard? I'm new, how do I do it? I've been burned before. How many of you have been burned by crypto before? Anybody here experienced the total, total loss in crypto in some capacity? People have experienced it. It happens, absolutely happens happened to one somebody on our team actually yeah pete it sucks getting burned absolutely just in bitcoin yeah no they're down it's been a lot of things going on in the markets right now right we've seen with celsius and, and luna coin and we, we've seen all these things that are, have happened here recently it's so important to keep yourself safe you say well you're showing us all these massive returns, these huge accounts and all this stuff, but, and then you're talking about being safe. How is that safe? It's gotta be high risk, right? So here's the hard truth, right? So how can we help you avoid the loss? The crypt, crypt, risky landscape. I'm just gonna change that to say it is a risky landscape. If you're not careful, you will lose your shirt and probably your pants too. Maybe even a left leg, I don't know. But you can make serious mistakes if you don't have the proper help. Everyday new crypto investors without the proper guidance and understanding of the landscape lose money. There's several ways that they can lose. Listening to scammers, under, not understanding. This is not traditional banking. If you make a mistake in crypto, you can't pick up the phone and reverse the transactions. 
you can't get help from your bank. It's not call 1-800-VISA card or whatever and say, hey, there's been a fraudulent activity on my account. It doesn't exist. This is decentralized. So there's good and bad to that. If you accidentally send your money, your coins to the wrong place, sorry, it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. It's gone. We've seen that before. You get the chance of getting rug pulled. Rug pull is when basically your money disappears. Okay? And it could happen in one way or another. Uh, it's a scam. You could have a fraudulent developer develops a new coin, pumps the price, pump and dump, right? Then drops the value by selling all the, pulling all the liquidity out. Or they limit selling. You're stuck with the, this coin, can't get rid of it. Or they just simply disappear. They build this fancy website, make it look amazing. So you put your money in, start seeing some gains. You're seeing weekly gains. You're going, oh, this is great. Yeah, I've already doubled my money. Let me just take out my initial investment. And then you can't get a hold of anybody. Can't get a hold of anybody. A week later, you call them. Can't get, a, can't get anybody on the phone. Go to the website, it's gone. You never see the money again. This stuff happens. So how do we keep help keep you safe. So we have a vigorous risk management vetting process. We have to. We don't get involved with passive income plays unless we've met with the teams, we've vetted them, and they have a long track history of doing things the right way. So we do the hard work for you. We find the opportunities, we vet them, we teach you how to get in and out safely. We'll also find pre-token ICO plays for those of you who want to get a little bit more aggressive in your approach. And then we have passive income plays that generate, depending on the project, can be a monthly, some are monthly, some are weekly, depending on how they compound. The one that uh, we're involved in weekly has been averaging two to 3% per week. So very strong returns. We make financial freedom an attainable goal by offering guidance and support. So here's really what this all looks like is the alpha team who's been doing this a long time, will help you get in and out, show you how to do it, guide you by the hand. But here's the thing, you know, there's, there's other programs out there, right? There's other opportunities. There's other ways to learn how to do crypto, how to get involved in crypto. There's other ways to do it. And so you say, well, I could just go to anybody and do that. Here's the difference, right? Now, many of you may have heard of Neuro Street, Neuro Street Trading Academy. And that's our, the team that put together Neuro Street put together Crypto Street, okay? Now there's some additional staff for Crypto Street naturally because we need crypto experts that are going to work with this. But we have a reputation and we're not gonna get involved in something and put our name on the line unless we've done our part and we feel good about it. We also have to do it with our own money to prove we've got skin in the game too. Like we're not just telling you, we're showing you. Okay, so there's that. So think of it like this. It's an education course, start to finish, learn everything you could ever want to know about crypto. But then we're not going to just sell you the course and say, okay, well, go figure it out. We told you how to do it, now go do it. Doesn't work like that. There are weekly workshops where we go over different uh, topics each time, obviously, help our investors get to the next level, get to the next level. We have an entire alpha team that offers coaching throughout the process as well. If you have questions, if you need help in any way, shape, form, or capacity, you contact the alpha coaches and they'll help you out. So it's an entire support from start to finish. So we've built this sort of community and it's all built around helping real people see real results. Okay, so let's look at our let's look at our portfolios. <clears throat> this is an example of a deposit that was made in December of 2021. The um, initial, not sure what exactly the initial balance is, but let's take a look here. Total net profit 406 euros, average noted balance 4520. So that was the, the average balance in the account. Fund return. Now this is the average for 2021. This fund made 124%. 
total deposits was 4577. So that's how much went in. Total net profit by for just 2022, we've got 2200 in total net profit. And then master note, so 7000 in in profits. Okay, so total ROI, there we go. That's the total profit, sorry. Total ROI 2614 based on total deposits of what, seven, looks like. It's 47% return in about six months. It's good, very good. Let's look at another one. January to June, 32% return. Total net profit, 3,164, based on um, the balance of 9740. Okay, very good. December to June, 41%. Look, every, every deposit amount is different. Obviously, some have more to invest than others. And uh, total ROI, 4,700. 4,700 on this one. Yeah, very good. <laughs> no, I don't have a degree in mathematics, nor am I the uh, hedge fund billionaire, James Simmons. Uh, I wish I had his money. Maybe. I don't know. It might be complicated, actually. He's got a lot of money. No, different. There's a lot of Jim Simmons, believe it or not. I like to say I'm the one and only, but that's definitely not true. You can find, um, Dylan, if you want to find out info, um, if you go to Crypto Street Academy or Neural Street Trading Academy, that's me. You'll see me on the website there. Yeah. April through June. So this is only just a couple, two, three months. Trading balance, 34,000. Total ROI, 5,200. 5,200 total ROI. Amazing. And you can see the returns here, right? So let me... Um, Grab my little marker here. Okay. So we've got ROI received, commission received. That's for referrals, by the way. ROI received, ROI received. So these are all gains. And these are weekly. Okay. May 7th, May 13th, May 20th, 27th. Every week, like clockwork, paying out returns. ROI, ROI. Good stuff. And you got to see it to believe it. And that's absolutely 100% fair. Here's another one. Bear with me one second, guys. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So 22,000 trading balance. Total earned 2.46, okay? So these are either the directors uh, of Crypto Street or the alpha coaches. Yeah, these are their portfolios, yeah. Investments, yeah, these are based out of Europe. Mm -hmm. Who's coding and collecting data? So the alpha coaches are responsible for doing all the research. And then the executive team is actually meeting with the executive teams of these companies, yeah. So that's sort of the process there. So here again, we can see ROI received, ROI received weekly, 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 over and over. Here's another one. Okay, same story, ROI, ROI, ROI. A lot of returns, 30,000 balance. Paying out 400 in a week. Paying out another 400 in a week, 400. Like, I don't know about you, but that's, it's pretty good, pretty good based on that. Okay, um, just more examples. You see the weekly payouts. These are so 72% gains from January till June, six months, 72%. So it's lining up with that annual yield that we were showing. Okay, so how do you get access? All right, what about losses? Yeah, there really hasn't been any SP. It's a fair question, there hasn't been any. It's consistent gains. So let me give you a little bit of insight on what these projects actually are, right? Because we're not, we're not talking about buy and hold strategies. When you think of hedge funds, traditionally you're thinking of, well, they're investing in you know, some type of sectors, right? They're investing in EFTs or you know, they're investing in the next new company or tech startups. So you know, they, they blend it, right? But ultimately they're invested in these projects. With the projects that we're involved in, it's not exposure to the market in that sense. 
I'm <laughs> thinking about hedge funds. Now, so what these projects are is they're profit sharing models in the crypto space. Okay, so one of them is on the back end of things, adding to the blockchain. And I'm not going to go over all the details now. If you want to talk about it, we certainly can. Um, but one of them is behind the scenes. Okay, so they're, they're finding opportunities to generate profit in these sort of uh, situations. They're finding profit opportunities based on the back end of things. Okay? And then they're sharing that profit with their investors. So that's one of them. The other one is actively trading crypto and Forex. So they're actually trading actively. So think of it more like a swing trade type of situation. Okay? So they're swing trading. Again, it's a profit share model and these companies are audited. And again, we've, we've vetted them. Why is there a variation month to month six to 150? Uh, there isn't, uh, it's not that much. Yeah, no, the variance isn't that much monthly. Um, seven to 12% monthly is what we've seen. 150 would be annually. Yeah, that'd be annual. So you can see ROI is what you're looking at. ROI, but this is the same day. So we got 830 and then we've got 850. And we got 760. 364 must have been a slow week, could have been a short week, whatever the case. Yeah. No, actually, you don't even have to get trade alerts. That's the beauty of it. So we do send out trade alerts. If you want to actively trade, you can, but you don't have to. If you want to just say, I just want to do passive income, I just want to put a chunk of money in there, let it sit, and I just want to collect the weekly gains and compound whatever amount, and that's it. They do all the work. All you got to do is just you just throw the money in there and that's it. Okay. So good stuff. So that's about as, you know, I mean, that's a good chunk of the info on, on what's happening and how this is all working. Without getting into all the details of it, I will say that, you know, if you want to talk more, if you want to discuss this more, we're absolutely happy to uh, set up a time to chat with you. Minimum investment on uh, the two that we're actively involved in currently that we've started out with, um, those are $500 minimum to start. That's it. I mean, I think most of us can, can swing that, 500 minimum on each of those. So how do you get access to all this? Let's go over pricing and everything here as well, okay? Yeah, yeah it's not an algo. Yeah, it's not an algo. We do have algos, but that's Neuro Street, not Crypto Street, totally different. And then, um, yeah, we can talk more about the programs and, and so on as far as what we're investing in. Okay. So getting started, value 2000, roughly 1995 for the getting started course, the trading course, 49.95, DeFi, 49.95, private chat rooms to get access to private Discord chat rooms uh, for everyone who's involved in these projects, access to the crypto coaches and alpha team. We put 14.95 on there, but really I think that's the difference here. That's what makes this different. Group coaching sessions with alpha coaches, 1495. So those are weekly workshops that we are doing and they're held live and they are recorded of course as well. So you can watch them after the fact. Custom resources, links for alpha investing. Uh, financial calculators, we've built all those out. We'll give them to you as part of the program. Financial independence, you can't put a price on that. Financial independence is what we are all after. Total value is 17,000. Of course, you're not gonna pay that. Now, Crypto Street is new. So this is the opportunity to get in at the ground level before we send this out to the masses. We decided we wanted to do this for this event because we thought, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to allow some additional investors to get in at the ground level before we release this to the mainstream market. Once we do so, prices will go up. And that's just being fair. It is what it is. This is a sort of a pre-launch. Okay? So pricing is $49.95. That is a one-time cost. Does not go up. You pay it once. You're in the program. And you are good to go. Better off going to college, study computer science, math, develop my own systems. Good luck. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, we've developed all that stuff. And we can tell you that it is costly to do so. There is certainly money to be made, and, and that's great. You know, if that's what you want to do, we're, we're all for it. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it, and, and good luck. Yeah. But it's not crazy. 
And we know that because there are plenty of other investors who have already gotten involved. Yeah, and, and it's working. It's working for our alpha team. It's working for our directors. It's working for their families. They've actually put their families, their friends into these same products. Okay? So it is the real deal. <clears throat> so the main focus is to teach me how to invest and be successful in crypto. Yeah. It's about our investors. It's about those who want to get involved with it. It's about making sure that every one of them are successful with this. And so we're working very hard on the back end to make sure that happens. Yeah. How fast can I start investing? Right away. Yeah, we have one actually tomorrow. We're holding another workshop. So if any of you want to get in on that, uh, there's an there's a, uh, event happening tomorrow. And we're going to go over one of the first uh, investment opportunities. So you can start investing right away. You could be in that investment by the end of the week. It's not an annual plan. This is a one-time one time cost, and it's uh, that's it. You just pay it once, and you're in it to win it. So there's nothing else that we'll ever charge for this. You get in, and, and you're in it. So, yep, good deal. Yeah, Dylan, send me an email if you want to. Yeah, I mean, if you want to um, look at in coding and that sort of thing, I'd be happy to put you in touch with our team. Yeah, absolutely. Do you train us to trade or you trade for me? So good question. So let me clarify a little bit. So we would give you, you all of the education, support, training, guidance, show you how to get involved in the product and then projects. And then the projects that we invest in, they're the ones that are out generating the revenue. Okay? They're the ones that are out making the money, so to speak, and then sharing that profit. Okay, so they're the ones that are doing the legwork on actually generating the you know, ROI. Yeah, we're, we're providing the opportunity to learn how it's done, where to go, making recommendations, which projects are we involved in, and so you can take a look at it. Yeah, yeah no worries, Rick. Absolutely fair. And uh, if you want to take a look at it you know, six months from now, a year from now, totally fine. We'd be happy to visit with you. Yeah, no problem. We've been looking and uh, developing this over the last really about a year or so but we're just launching it to the markets. Yeah, but we've been at it for about a year. And then the investments have been at least six months, you know. Um, the two that we're involved in currently have been around for about three years. They have been vetted. Uh, they're all subject to audits. Like, you, you know, they're all subject to those things. They can't escape it. Uh, we've met with them. We've seen what they're doing. We know what their trading activity is. We know what all their activity is. And so they've been at it for about three years and they have a consistent track history. More importantly, and this is something important for everyone to know, the, the partners or investments that we're getting involved with, uh, there's no need for additional investors. Obviously, that would be a huge red flag. So we don't, we don't get involved in any of that. And uh, we just, yeah, we just um, work with the ones that we know are going to be the safest bets that we can possibly bring in. Yeah, you want to invest, totally fine. Um, that's totally fine. It would be the passive income. And then so you would get involved in the, uh, in the Crypto Street program, and then we would give you recommendations, suggestions, or at least give you guidance. Okay. We can't tell you what to do with your money, obviously, but we can, uh, we can make you aware of which investments we're involved in. It's a better way to put it. Project investment is through your separate entity. They are through separate entities. So this gains you access to Crypto Street. And then at that point, you would invest in whatever you choose to from there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. No worries, Rick. Totally understand. Still new for a lot of people, right? And crypto in general is new, for sure. Which platform or broker? doesn't matter. It's not so much like you don't have to have a brokerage account. Right? So it's not like you're buying... Um, you know, regularly traded asset or something like that. That's not how it works. Yeah, so we would just, we'll help you get set up in the exchanges. We'll help you figure out how to, you know, get into the projects, all that. We show you all how to do all that. Yeah. If you don't want to get trained, can you invest only? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're going to need to know how to get into the projects that we're involved in, but that's simple enough to learn. And then after that, if you want to just leave it there and compound your, all you have to do is just compound your uh, gains, either weekly or monthly, depending on which project you're in. Okay. 
How much do you have to pay? It's forty nine ninety five. Yeah, same across the board, guys. It's the same for everybody. And and the fact is that price is going to double in about a week or two, and that's just being honest and fair. So this is an opportunity to get in before it goes to that price. There are there are outfits out there that are charging three times that, and they're not giving nearly as much. No money back guarantees. You're in it to win it. So we got to make sure it's a good fit for you up front because you can't unlearn something. Once you learn the education, once you get brought into the projects that we've spent you know, a good amount of time vetting and you know, resources and all that, uh, once, you know, once you know what's on the inside, you, you got to pay for that. So no, but we'll help you make sure it's a good choice if you want to get involved. Okay? And if not, totally understand. It's not for everybody. This is not for everybody. It's for those who are looking to get involved and do something different. And they're looking for you know, better, better gains than what they can do in the markets. We pay monthly and some, send an email if you're interested, but maybe just don't have that all up front or something. Send, send an email in and, and we'll, we'll help you figure that out. Uh, let me post a link in here as well. Uh, let me do that here so you all have the link. It is, there it is. So there's the bit.ly link. Uh, just go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to paste it in here as well. Bear with me one second here. Where's my link? Links, links, links. There it is. Okay. So this is good through Sunday. I don't know exactly when that price is going up, but I do know it is going up. This is kind of pre-launch pricing. Okay. So there's the link. Monthly payments would be great, um, but it's just not something that we can really do uh, because realistically, you'll know a good chunk of what you'd need to know to get into the projects in a month. You know, we might be able to break it up for you a little bit, but there's not much we can do there. So if you do want to get in, uh, certainly we do take credit cards, all that sort of thing. What are the risks and probabilities and hard, any hard numbers? Yeah, it's, it, that's a fair question too, right? And I think everybody's looking for that. Um, what I can tell you is the same thing that I'm telling everybody right now. Um, if you want to get into crypto, if you're interested in, in being in something that can generate money for you much quicker, um, you do not want to do it alone. You do not want to do it alone because you can get taken. You can get scammed. You can send your money to the wrong place. There's a lot of risks involved with being in crypto. So if you are going to do it, you want to get in with a team. And that's why we're here. Okay, so there is risk involved. Anytime you have money in the market, there's risk involved. So know what you're willing to risk, know what you're willing to bring in. And, uh, you know, obviously most of our investors are not putting their whole portfolio to something like this. They're, or into one project, they're spreading it around. Yeah, so that's important as well. Yeah, it's a hard truth of crypto, you know, it's just, it's different. So whatever we can do to protect you, that's, that's why this exists. For those who are looking to do something different, earn some money, get to the next level, financial freedom. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Good stuff. What else? Yeah, anything that anything crypto, we will teach it all. Okay. And we'll let's put it this way. If you're hearing about things that are kind of the new buzz, the new thing, the new trend, odds are somebody out there is scamming. So let's keep you out of those, keep you into real passive income plays that can make you real money versus just, oh, here's this thing. You're going to earn, you know, 20% a week or something. And look, we'll help keep you out of the, the nonsense, the garbage. Because our team has been there. Like they've been there, done that. They've had to learn the hard way. And I think sometimes, unfortunately, that's the best way to learn. So we'll help keep you out of the nonsense. Yeah. What else? What are the questions? Those are good questions. I appreciate, look, you know, any question, there's no question off limits. <clears throat> so I appreciate everybody's good questions. Very, very good. Anything else? Good. You've got the link. I'm going to send you my direct email as well. If you have questions or want to chat, there's my email. Just feel free to reach out. And like I say, we're happy to visit with you, chat with you, send you info as much as we can, obviously. 
and uh, help you make a good decision. Some are going to say that nah, crypto is not for me. Totally fine. If crypto is for you or you're looking for something else, this is the way to do it. Okay. Good stuff. Teaching index list. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Maybe send me an email on that so we can figure that one out. I'm not sure. I think we're good on my end. I know we're we're done a little bit early. I wanted to make sure we didn't go over in time. Um, but I'm good on my end. I think we've covered everything. 